All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to back up your YouTube channel so you can protect your hard earned work. Cause nobody wants to put in all this work, put out all this content, and then all of a sudden one day just lose it. So we wanna be prepared. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here on my Google Doc that I created just for you. So step number one, you wanna go to takeout.google.com. Okay, so go ahead and go there right now, go throughout this process as I'm showing you so you can get it done by the time you're done watching this video okay and you if you got multiple channels you'll be able to do it on those other channels as well okay so you want to go to that website now when you go to that website you want to make sure that in the corner like in the picture I got here it's the channel that you want to actually do the backup on okay so make sure you in that Google profile all right now next step we're gonna be creating a new export now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to step number two now when you get to this next page what you're gonna see is you're gonna see where you can deselect all all of the check boxes okay so that's the first step so now when you deselect all of them you're gonna go all the way down because the YouTube one is literally the last one so you're gonna go all the way down and then you're gonna go ahead and click right here on the YouTube and the YouTube music checkbox now when you get down here let's go to the next step so you can see right here once you check the box then this right here is gonna become blue because notice up here it was grayed out right but once you check it boom it's gonna show up blue right here and you're gonna click on all you YouTube data included all right now when you do that you're gonna see all of this data right here so it says channel data it says comment creator demographics history kids now this is tapping into some of the YouTube music stuff but if you don't really have anything there you can just do it anyway because it's just gonna pull the data that you have in the first place all right now let's go down to the most important which is probably the main reason you hear so we got the video metadata we even got playlists if you you know you got some playlist data and then we got videos right which for me that's the most important one I want to make sure I have all of my videos which you should probably have them anyway stored away on some type of drive but you're watching this video because you want to be able to do it okay so you want to make sure all of these are checked and then you're gonna go ahead and hit next step okay so now we're gonna move to the next step so step number four this is where we choose where we want the stuff to be sent okay so this part is very very important because let's say for instance somebody hacks your channel and they take it over if they do this and they get access to your channel we all know how YouTube and Gmail works right it's all connected so if they got access to your channel now they have access to your your email so if you choose this option here where it says send download link via email you could probably do that for the first time just so you can get the data so you can see how the process works but I probably wouldn't recommend that one just because if they get access to that they get access to everything else okay so I would probably recommend add to Dropbox or add to OneDrive because that's not really connected to you know throughout that process okay all right so let's move to the next thing so frequency is just how often you're doing this right so you can export once and just have it you know this one time so you can see how it works or you can export every two months for one year which adds up to six exports for the year all right so then the next thing is going to be the file type and the size so these aren't the only options but when i screenshotted it it was the zip which is like a common thing so i think you should probably just keep it on zip file and then right here for the file size you don't have to keep it on two gigabytes but if you do it's going to create a lot of folders and you're just going to have to download all the data that way now if you up the size for the file size and you go to four six and even the maximum one it's just going to be less less files okay now once you choose all of those now what you want to do is you want to go to step number five is where you actually create the export okay now when you create the export what's gonna happen is they are gonna prompt you with this it's gonna say Google is creating a copy of your data from YouTube and YouTube music this process can take a long time possibly hours or days after that you are gonna receive an email this is what the email looks like so it says Google takeout that's who it's gonna be coming from and then right here it says your Google data is ready ready to download now in a few minutes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you what the email looks like and then I'm gonna actually show you the file so you can know that this actually works to be able to get all of your data all right so now we got the email pulled up so you can see what this looks like and I'm gonna take you through the rest of the process so you can see right here it says your Google data is ready to download just like I showed you before earlier in the video and then you can see it says we finished creating a copy of your Google data you requested on June 3rd 2024 all right so right here you see all of these 
threes. I had 29, maybe you might have 39 or 49 or even less depending on the size. Remember what I was showing you earlier with this file type and the size, it can you know determine whether you got a whole bunch of these uh, or a little bit of them. Okay, so now you can see right here, if I click on download one of 29, I'll go ahead and click on that. Now for you, for the first time, they might actually prompt you to log in. So make sure you understand what your password and your, e well, you gonna understand your email, but make sure you understand the password that you have so you can actually go ahead and log in because it's kind of like a verification type thing. All right, so for me, I'm already logged in and you see it automatically, once you log in, it's gonna automatically download the data for you. And then you can go ahead and put it on your computer and I'm gonna show you my files here in a few minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my files real quick. And right now I'm inside of my drive. I highly recommend you get yourself a one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, just something that can hold a lot of data. You should probably have one anyway if you're doing any like video related stuff because a lot of these files are extremely large. All right, so I'm gonna go right here to this file that says it should be a takeout folder. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the takeout folder because remember it's Google takeout. And then I'm gonna click on takeout. I'm gonna click on YouTube YouTube and music and you can see channel comment data right so you can see all these CSVs if you did any live chats they'll have it also we got the video metadata we got the videos okay so you can see all of those mp4 files right so those are all of my videos for that particular section and then as I continue to go throughout this right so if I go to take out two, click on that click on videos and then boom, there's all the MP4 files that I uploaded to YouTube, which is very, very powerful because now you have your data. So you don't have to have that fear of, man, I did all this hard work and then you wake up one day and it's just gone, right? Nobody wants to feel that, all right? So hopefully this video was valuable for you. And if it was, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below if you have any additional questions that I can help you with. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.